In this era of advanced development, planetary health has become negligible to the human eyes. People tend to reap the benefits of our natural resources for their indulgence. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Now, if no orders provided, the aftermath could be detrimental to our planetary health and to the welfare of our future generations. Let's start with microplastics. What are microplastics, Charlize? I'm glad you asked. Microplastics are acne fragments of plastic less than 5 millimeters. Now you may ask, how can microplastics affect us with their size in the smithereens? In a study by Dr. Vitak at the University of Amsterdam, they found traces of microplastics in the human blood. Micro it is the food and cosmetic that we consume that contains microplastic. When it is digested and assimilated into our body, these poisonous particles will be released into our bloodstream, causing damage to our somatic cell and even leading to cancer. Soon, scientists in the Netherlands had announced they had found tiny plastic particles deep inside the lung of patients. Microplastic is wild to our respiratory system. It lingers in our lung cavity, causing airway diseases such as lung cancer. Now, is the environment affected, Benjamin? Oh yes, especially when it comes to illegal logging and deforestation. From 2001 to 2020, Malaysia lost around 1,920,000 hectares worth of forest cover due to city developments and especially in the palm oil sector. We know that Malaysia is currently the world's second largest palm oil producer. With that being said, the huge demand for palm oil from other countries has made palm oil plantations dominant in our country's economic status. However, palm oil plantations wields a double-edged sword. Now, Minecraft sword, but I digress. With the incentive given, palm oil plantations are decimating our jungles. For this increasingly necessary cash crop, whole swaths of jungles have been burnt down, with land and soil being repurposed for palm trees. Based on the status quo, not only with the uncontrollable carbon dioxide emissions, our future generations will have to experience waves of famine due to lower agriculture produce, climate change fluctuations, and soil erosion. Won't the sea creatures be affected too, Yushin? Most certainly. One of the main causes is ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is global warming's evil twin. It's when carbon dioxide is absorbed rapidly into the ocean, forming carbonic acid. This substance does break down into hydrogen ions and bicarbonate, decreasing seawater's pH value. Look at statistics. Ocean acidity has increased about 25% from pre-industrial times to the early 21st century, a pace faster than any known in Earth's geological past. This picture here shows a shell put into seawater at the pH they're expecting by the end of the century. After only 45 days, the shell is completely dissolved. This proves that ocean acidification does not only severely affect our ocean's food system but also ours. So, what's the takeaway here? We can reduce plastic usage, particularly ban single-use items from your daily life. Next, we can reduce our carbon footprint by being disciplined for actions such as saving electricity and practicing the 3R principle. Last but not least, we can plant more trees. Deforestation is one of the most significant causes of carbon emissions. By planting more trees, the trees can store and absorb carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. And with that, we bring to you sustainable planetary health for future generations. Thank, Thank you! you.